Hello, so uh, this is the third video of uh, the series of videos that handles with uh, robotic manufacturing in NXCAM. To give you a little bit of a background, in the first video we added the KUKA robot, the KUKA KR16 model, we added that to our, uh, to our machining library or machine library. In the second video we had a look at creating uh, an, an operation. Um, uh, manufacturing operation to, to machine a certain geometry and at the end of uh, at the end of the second video we saw that uh, doing a doing a simulate simulation of the machine um, because we haven't set up any uh, any robotic rules doing a simulation of the machine actually put the machine in a very very wrong position um, so just to give you a little bit of a background I'm just going to go to machine tool view so as you can see here we've got uh, a bull mill at the, at, the, at the front there in that pocket um, our geometry view um, this is the geometry that we used it's part of that mill area um, and there you can see our our um, our toolpath so the important thing now that I'm going to set up is to, is the robotic rules that just dictates or helps the robot understand where it's going and where it has to be uh, when it finishes so we also created this tab that's robotic that's in part of the second video and um, first thing we're going to do is here in robot control we can set up a pose so first thing that you'll see here is this uh, this little light this um, is uh, is blue uh, this just means that uh, it's very close to singularity that just uh, in terms of the maths and the kinematics of this model singularity is not not a good thing it's something you would want to avoid so what I usually do is I just rotate that tip a bit um, and with this we can actually now create you can set this as a new pose so I'm just gonna add this pose call it pose one uh, it's remember it's a good thing to remember your spelling here uh, because you're going to use this later on as well so here you can see I'll click on home it jumps to that position I'll click on pose one and it jumps to the new position so I can say OK in this case and now I can say um, so next thing uh, robotic rules are applied to each um, operation so I'm, I click on the variable streamline operation and then I say edit rules so now I can tell it I want to use a configuration so I say use robotic pose I say add new event and it asks me when does it want to use this pose so I'm going to say at the start and at the end of the operation so remember that we uh, put that name in as pose with no space one so I can say OK and we can see that those events are set now I can apply the rules very important to also apply the rules after the rules have been applied you'll get this message if they weren't applied successfully you will get an error message Okay. so next we can go to the home again and we can try our machine uh, simulate machine again so I'll simulate machine and we can play and there we can see the robot is moving exactly the way we would want to in this case we might uh, uh, oh, it seems actually that we might be alright so I'm just speeding this up and we can see that the robot is moving exactly the way we expected it to and then eventually moving to the pose that we also set for that end pose and that is the the biggest part of uh, of robotic machining in NXCAM very straightforward um, the next the next video in this series will handle a little bit on if you have to change the pocket uh, position and maybe if you have to change something in the post processor uh, where the work uh, work vector um, work vector is.